Is this your first? Oh, actually, this is my fourth. Like, why? Why? That's the that's the look I get. Like, why? You look like you're ten. Why? Four kids. That's a lot. It's another freestyle episode on Lara DG where I talk about something random and it's all about numbers today, especially the number four. There aren't a lot of numbers that are special to me, but over the years, two, three, four, five, seven, and nine have made the cut. All right? Um, I remember a time when I was younger, I loved having a big family around right especially during the holidays i'm sure you guys know what i'm talking about you know your cousins come all over from the country you know to celebrate the new year you know to celebrate christmas and entering the new year together those were fun times for me back then and i loved and wish and prayed to have that for my own family as well you know have a big family right you know what i'm talking about now i'm talking about right not like nine kids, but at least like five kids. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> at least like three kids, you know, that's like the average for a lot of families, three kids. I come from a three kid family. My husband comes from a three kid family. I'm sure you come from a three kid family, right? Right? Probably the middle child. Uh huh. <laughs> As I grew older though, and I understood a little bit more about having and raising kids and especially you know here in the states where help and support is a little bit challenging the number of the kids that i said i wanted started to decrease you know it went down to four and then to three and then i was like maybe 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 two kids you know boy girl and close up shop right um i feel like three is the average number of kids for a lot of families you know i didn't do any research on this so don't quote me um and guess what that's why we have that middle child syndrome, you know? So if a couple has a fourth child, it's like, whoa. It's like crossing some sort of an invisible barrier that says, now you have a lot of kids, right? Right? Three kids is not a lot, but four kids, definitely. After we got married, um, you know, after I got married, something changed in our plans. And my husband agreed with me to have more kids after we had the fraternal twins. I personally didn't want, you know, our lives to be all about the twins, you know what I'm saying? The only girl and the only boy syndrome. So we were like, you know what, let's give them a partner, right? Let's give them somebody to, to kind of pour their love, you know, to share their love with, right? So they don't feel like they're the only ones and feel like they should be entitled to a lot of things. Then we had a boy after three years, right? But what ended up happening was that I felt bad for our second son. You know, the twins formed like a partnership naturally, even though they loved their brother dearly, right? And sometimes they would just lock him up out of the room when they wanted to play by themselves. And the other one would be crying so hard and all alone. So I talked to my husband and as God would have it, you know, he did it in his own way. But I've been warned that the partnership will soon change and be regrouped into three boy group and then a girl. So I said, well, it's okay. She'll partner with me against the boys. That's our family. So I got the feeling that people were thinking four kids was a lot by the questions that they asked me. Four kids is definitely a lot, but thank God for pre-K, okay? It really helps. Those six hours that go by lightning fast. But I wasn't bothered by the questions you know, that I was asked, but the motive behind the questioner. I always wondered what if they could ask, what if, what if they could just ask the right questions, you know, instead of questioning my decisions to have more kids. What are people actually thinking when you're pregnant, you know, with baby number four? What are they thinking with baby number one? <gasps> whoa such joy oh my goodness you're expanding your family this is an exciting time and you know i get the feeling when people ask when people ask um when people ask you oh is this your first this everybody asks that is this your first and when you say yes it's like a light bulb goes off and it's like oh my goodness this is such a great time you're just starting out your family it's so good everything's great 
and then you get pregnant again oh this is my second well this is still nice well you know you're still expanding your family oh this is my third oh okay that's fine you're still expanding and growing your family oh actually this is my fourth like why why that's the that's the look i get like why you look like you're 10 why four kids that's a lot that's the that's that's the that's that's what i get the questions were innocent enough right but they can make someone think twice about being nice in the way they choose to answer the questions like after a while i was like you know what i'll just be nice i'm not even going to say anything like yeah just have that face on your face just have that look on your face They'll ask you, didn't you just have a baby last year? Weren't you just pregnant last year? Are you due in the same month like your old, like your other kids? Won't you need a bigger space? Do you know what you're having? Is it twins again? Are you gonna have more kids after this one? Like number five? <laughs> that one is the best. I'm like, well, maybe, you know, I don't know. Maybe, you know, <laughs> who knows? You're done, right? How old is the last one? How old are the oldest? So this makes how many girls and boys? I came up with some questions for you to ask if you're faced with this kind of situation. If you know someone that has more than three kids, please be empathetic, which means please show, be, be understanding and, and, and put yourself in their shoes, right? Even though it's none of your business even though you didn't tell them to go and get pregnant that's one of the looks i got like i didn't tell you to go get pregnant you still have to fix this patient up you still have to wash this patient <laughs> i understand that you know um even though it's not your fault they still have to work while they're heavily pregnant i used to think you know to myself when i was at work nobody told you to go and get pregnant you know for the third time so I won't let anybody start the gossip that I was lazy because I was pregnant. I worked hard because one, it's exercise for me, and two, it's almost over. I kept telling myself. It's so easy to forget how it feels to be pregnant. Um, so a little gesture goes a long way, even if it's just a word of encouragement. These are the questions I came up with, you know, instead of you saying, oh, you have a lot of kids. Um, how are you doing? How are you coping? How are you feeling? Um, how are the other kids at home? Do you have any help and support at home? Will you get help um, or a nanny or a sitter to help? You know, because it's a lot. And girl, when's your next vacation? Um, please, let's be happy for people when you see them that, you know, when you see that they're pregnant, regardless if it's their number one, you know, if it's the first one or the 15th one, they are such blessings and they come with different personalities. Babies have, um, babies come with different gifts. You know, if you have kids or you're trying for kids of your own, um, tell us of your experiences regarding the questions people have asked you that has frustrated you or made you cringe a little bit and please help me add to the questions that you feel people should be asking you know this is how I think about it people are naturally selfish and unless we tell them what we would like to hear from them regarding our situation they'll tell you how your situation affects them through their experiences Please don't blame them because most of them don't know and might not ever know what you're going through. If you have three or more siblings, please shout out in the comment section if you've gotten the look that you have a lot of siblings and how you felt about it. Thank you very much for staying with me till this part of the video. Living in Peace is the main section of my channel, so do check out the other sections. I'm a lover of peace and I love talking about situations we might find ourselves in that need peaceful endings. Let's stop giving ourselves high blood pressure for no reason as we live our lives. God willing, we are on this earth for an average of 75 to 80 years. Let's not waste any of that precious time on matters that don't help us positively in some way. You have a decision to make. If not now, maybe later, the ball of empathy is in your court. Ask questions if you have any. Please don't hesitate to leave a comment as well. Like this video by giving it a thumbs up so that I can make more of these type of videos. And you can also follow me on social media, Instagram at LaraDG, and um, do subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the many more sizzling topics to come. Hover on the red hearts on the right lower corner and subscribe. It's free. 
and make sure your notification bell is activated please let's love our neighbors as ourselves and remember to rest in peace we all need to be living in peace stay blessed you see me in my next one bye bye